Hello everyone, it's March 23rd, 2017, and this is daily vlog number 327, and it's a Thursday, and how the heck is everybody today? I just want to know, because I have an inquiring mind. Uh, getting ready to go to work, and uh, did some research for the vlog today, and uh, just kind of been resting up. But uh, I have five stories to talk about today, so let's get to it. Teen gets bionic legs after being born unable to walk. Uh, this teen, he was born with legs that uh, were like frozen, the joints didn't move, so he was kind of like basically standing on sticks, and uh, now uh, he's 17 now, and um, they amputated his legs and gave him these uh, bionic legs and uh, he's loving it he, he can get around now um, he just got these legs and he's still learning how to use them but uh, after a while um, it said he'll have a normal walk just like anybody else and <clears throat> these um, legs uh, work with uh, his brain and um, his muscles so uh, that should work out for him. And then uh, in the next story, a Florida man's book burning sparks wildfire destroys homes. This guy, he was burning paperback books for whatever reason. And the fire got out of control. And you know what happened next. So I think this guy's in a lot of trouble. Um, there's it doesn't say... How many homes have been burnt yet? But um, we'll keep an eye on that story and um, keep you updated on that. <clears throat> Next story here is Americans are dying with an average of $62,000 of debt. Well, that's not surprising. I mean, the way things are going, it, the cost of living is getting higher and higher. Yeah, but uh, the wage isn't keeping up with the cost of living, so, you know, you dip into your savings, you use credit cards, you take out a loan, and the next thing you know, here you are in debt. I know the feeling. I share your pain. And doesn't look like there's going to be any relief from that in sight. <clears throat> Said the average person uh, usually has about twelve to $13,000 in debt when they die. Yeah, I, I understand that. We'll keep a watch on that one. Next uh, story here is a man arrested who went AWOL from Air Force 45 years ago. Yeah, they just tracked this guy down. He has a family. He's been living in the same place for years. Uh, his neighbors all like him, and he's 75 years old. And they just now arrested him for being AWOL from the Air Force. I have mixed feelings on this. <clears throat> you know, yeah, he went AWOL. He's guilty of that. Um, but, you know, they let him go for 45 years, and then they just now go get him. The man's 75 years old. <clears throat> you know, the locking somebody up is supposed to be a deterrent. But you let him go for 45 years. He had a family. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I'm split on this decision. Yeah, he broke the law, but the man is 75 years old. Come on. So what do you guys think? Do you think he should be locked up? Or do you think that it's just overkill? <laughs> really? Tell me. I'm... I'm kind of conflicted on this one. I don't know. I'm 
Well, I'm leaning towards the side. I wouldn't go after the man. It's been so dang long. But the law is the law, I guess. But let me know. Put a um, comment down there, pro or con, whether you agree or disagree that they should have um, hunted him down now and locked him up after 45 years of, of being a model citizen uh, besides being, going AWOL. Let me know. <clears throat> And then our last story here is U.S. Senate votes to let Internet providers share your web browsing history without permission. Uh, yeah, the, they're going to um, get rid of the Internet Privacy Act, so anybody that wants your browsing history is going to be able to get it. Now, I don't really care. <laughs> you know, I don't... Uh, I don't care who sees my browsing history. If I've got, if I'm going to look at something that I don't want somebody to see, I just will delete the history or use the uh, yeah, um, incognito browser on uh, Google Chrome. Then your, um, at least your history is not shared on your PC now. It's shared in the internet provider's database. Okay, so, but <clears throat> you know. I don't really care. But that does bring up a, a, another issue with, uh, with this um, repeal of this uh, Privacy Act. Are governments going to be able to see your browser history without a warrant? That's, uh, I don't know. Well, I, I didn't take a look at this article real close. I just skimmed over it. But, um, that's another issue. So what do you think about that? <clears throat> do you think this uh, uh, Privacy Act should stay in place, or do you think it's time to go? Uh, let me know your feelings on it. And uh, that's about it. Uh, all I have for today. I hope everybody's having a good day this Thursday. And uh, if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. <clears throat> and also... Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. The link's down below. And tell your friends and family about my channel and my videos. And uh, also check out my social media sites, G+, Facebook, and Twitter. And uh, if you missed yesterday's vlog, just click on the image to the left. And also please check out my website, the Chuck Baker homepage at chuckbaker.org. The link's up at the top. Till tomorrow, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.